stories about cockroaches, and I'll just change it to Carmenas. <laughs> Um, I was, uh, I don't know, it was my first time traveling to spend Christmas with my family in Texas, which, uh, coming from upstate New York, Christmas in Texas is really just the most miserable idea. I mean, there's no snow, it doesn't have anything like Christmas. Everyone's dressed like it's cold, it's, though it's 75 degrees. Um, and I remember I was staying at my grandmother's house, and in the middle of the night, um, Two salt shakers fell off the top of, well, a salt and pepper shaker fell off the top of the refrigerator and broke. And my grandmother came running in and first was going to blame it on my brother and I because we were sleeping nearby. And then she realized we didn't do it and she said, must have been one of those cockroaches pushed it off. <laughs> or in this case, one of those permanents pushed it off. Um, and she was serious. And I had never seen one of these cockroaches, except I knew people didn't like cockroaches. And I imagined that they were like the size of a small cat because it's up, you know, pushing things off the top of the refrigerator. And I remember, like, that entire night, um, we were there for a short period of time, but I felt like I couldn't sleep all night because I was afraid one of these cockroaches, however big they were, we were just sleeping on the floor, and it was kind of a revolting idea that a cat-sized creature would, would come up. Um, and the next, the next day, we spent the day outside, and that, that seemed okay, but then we came back in for dinner, and everyone was there. My extended family was there, and I was kind of going through this um, anxiety of looking around, and I was sure because they were talking about cockroaches. My parents were asking about them because we didn't have them in New York, um, at least where I lived in New York. <coughs> and so there was a lot of conversation about tree, I guess tree roaches at dinner. And the only thing that that suddenly made me comfortable was that I was asked to tell a story of helping birth baby pigs, which we did just before leaving because I was always the, well, I was the smallest son in my family. And so, you yeah. know, and so when the pigs couldn't um, birth all their babies on their own, whoever had the smallest arm to reach in and pull the last few out got to do that. And so I got to share that story over dinner and, and remember, you know, suddenly being very comfortable. Like I wasn't thinking about cockroaches all anymore because for whatever reason, that seemed even better. <laughs> <laughs> so much better. It's like Hamlet's play within a play. Really <laughs> 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 Dougie Fresh, you're up.